Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. But that's what it is, it's construction frame two, that's the bit that we're short on. So I'm going to go for a little bit of a wander. I mean, I'm busy making all of these steam engines anyway, so it's not like we're going to be running out of things to do while we're on our little excursion over this way. And I can get another big old stack of construction frames. So I get a couple stacks of them. And I can pick up some fluid boxes as well. They're up there somewhere. I can't remember exactly where I dumped them. But they're around there somewhere. Um, we've now got green circuits are backing up. Which means red circuits are backing up all the way through as well. That's good. So we've got the greens and the reds. I am going to need to then go and put them all the way through. Once the power is done, I would like to upgrade all of the tin producing and get that looking a lot more robust because we need a lot more tin being made. And then I've got... Uh, not sure what the next project is. I need tin and I need to get the green science going out to all of the different factories that we've got. Basically, I think it's the sort of the order that we want to do things. Right, there's... Yeah, I'm going to take a good few of them because we're going to need a lot of them. And I've got five of those. There's another five of those. What else am I going to need? Fluid boxes. I'll go and get more fluid boxes. That shouldn't be very difficult. Where am I making the fluid boxes? You know, I don't actually remember. I know that I'm making them somewhere. Pretty sure I'm making the fluid boxes back up this way somewhere. 99% certain that I had a little factory unit going up there somewhere. There it is. Told you. And that would be the fluid boxes right there at a thousand a stack. There we go. So we get another stack of them. That's fantastic. Now have a look in here. Look at that. A hundred boiler level two. And then these in here... Not quite as many. I quite know why I don't have as many of those available. It's, uh, it's the, the gears. They should be fine. That's just a bit of iron. I mean, I've only got 200 iron. Let me grab a little bit more of that then. That'll probably help. Yeah, that makes a difference. Right. Extra little stack of iron there. That, you know what? Let's get one more stack of iron just in case. I've got plenty of steel. Another stack of iron in there. I've now got everything that I think I'm going to need to do all the rest of these. Let's run down onto here. Uh, that's five and ten of those. Making a few extra bits compared to what I was making before. I will pick up these. Like that, and I will pick these up. This is a bit of a gamble, this is. But I am a gambling man at times, not always. Uh, one, two, like that, just to make them. And then very quickly grab the boilers for this bit in the middle and make another one, two, lots of those. Right, now, boilers down this side. Let's very quickly put these back into position. So I want boilers down through there like that. There's the boilers in place. I then want to go to steam engine level 2 and I want to run a line of them up there like that and then another line of these down this side like that. They're all in place. That's good. I'm making... Right, you know what? We'll cancel that. I'll cancel that one there and then I'll cancel that one there and then I will start making them again. So I will go... Uh, 10 steam engines in there. I've got less of them to make. I've got less things to make. It was making mechanical parts. That's the bit that we're kind of slow on, is, is making the mechanical parts. We'll have a look in here. That's 98. That's running on at the moment. We're doing absolutely fine. It's just that it's all coming up on one belt in here. I think that'll be all right. Well, as it's doing that, we've got enough now with those two... That is actually, that one line over there, that one line of coal servicing those 40 boilers and... Uh, sorry, 20 boilers and 40 steam engines. That is actually the equivalent to everything that we had here originally. Alright, we're doubling the output now. 
So this now what we're putting down, I'm getting these here, so I want uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 and 5, 10 of those. That is now going to double the output completely of all that we've got going on here. So there is the first five boilers for the new section, uh, first five steam engines, sorry. So that section over there, that is producing everything that we were already doing, 79.4 megawatts no changes on that and then all of this side this will be the new bit that we can go and put down and once I've done that then I want to go up here we'll go well actually we'll go back over here first we will pick up all of the items that we went and dumped in the chest there was a chest just there I think it is yes in that chest right there and we'll then because we had a whole load of mining drills we had like nearly a hundred of them and we'll get a few more We'll go up here with about 200 mining drills and we will cover all of that with mining drills and we'll bring that coal in two belts. We'll bring two belts width, not, not just one, and we'll run that all the way down through here, down around, and then that is able to provide all of the coal, hopefully, that we will need to be pushed into there for now, at least, for the foreseeable future, for at least a little while. Uh, the other thing I want to look at Check down here. Right, we got no issues with bugs coming through. It's unlikely that we're going to because we've got stepping stones here and bugs at the moment cannot go across stepping stones. Unless there is a change that is brought in, which I'm really hoping doesn't ever happen. At least not at the moment. Right, so we don't need to worry about anything down there. We also don't need to worry about anything up here. I've got stepping stones again there and stepping stones there. Which will keep it separate, just in case they get across the first stepping stone, so there's no reason they should. All of the trees have now been removed. Every single one has been removed from down there. So we've got space that we can use, utilize down there, which is good. And I am... Um, actually, I'm building the next round of boilers in here. So uh, next round of uh, everything in here. So let's go and take... We'll start on this side. We'll put boilers up through here, like that. There, there's some boilers, and then I can go into here, and I can get steam engines. And we'll go level two steam engines down there, and then I can come out this side, and another load of level two steam engines, they can go into there. And then I'll run down here, and put another ten down there like that. Now I just gotta wait for the last couple stacks to be made. I want one stack steam engines in there, and a stack of boilers in there. Inserter capacity bonus has now finished, so we've now got extra capacity bonus on our inserters. Non-stack inserter capacity plus one, which is going to make a huge, huge difference to everything that is operational elsewhere, but only if we've got the materials coming in through on the belts and things like that, which at the moment we're lacking, and this one up here is lacking as well. What are you waiting on? You're getting you're not actually waiting on anything. You're just processing these and you're processing them slowly. No, but you you're doing all right on there. It's just that that one is running slow. That's all. But anyway, those don't matter, but what we have got now is we've got these moving two at a time instead of one at a time. So like in there that is moving six over instead of your bit anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh what we want to do is we want to go up here and drop in those into there and then I want to bring these out let's turn them over and I want to run those down through there so I've now got all of the boilers in place that we're going to want I'm going to dump in all of the coal in there so I'm not dragging that around anymore and if we have a look there for the power we've got 156 megawatts of potential power we're not using it all at the moment. So the next thing that I want to do is, well, first up, actually, I want to go into here and I want to get this. So we've got Ghosted Entities on Destruction. Is technology unlocks a toggle to enable and disable the creation of ghosts when entities are destroyed by external forces. By default, the ghosting is enabled after researching it. So if we have that, then robots will come along and they will replace the ghosts uh, that are destroyed... Although I thought that was like a standard thing anyway. But uh, yeah. And we've also got liquid storage. Fluid handling. Which is just fantastic. You know, crawler cargo robots. 
What's the difference with these? Cargo capacity 100. Oh! Nice! Okay, so this will allow us to move. This this is a whole extra. We've got requester chests here as well now. This is basically the first steps towards automation of robots, but without actual having to wait for full-on robots that I would rather have. And then here we've got fast transport belt, so we can start to increase the speed that we can put things through the factory. Again, uh, another vital sort of step, or we can start unlocking some of these other bits. I'm going to go with these first. I'm going to go with the crawler cargo robots, because I think they're going to be incredibly useful. So I will go with them. Then I want to go up here and I want to start uncovering some of that. I would like to get a double line of belts coming down with coal from that 29 million patch up there over to here so that we're feeding um, these. But what I'd also like to do is, whilst I want that coal coming down, I also want this coal being consumed. And I kind of think I want to use up all of this coal first so that it's out the way and then I've got like a, a clear line and I can go and use some of the others. Now, right now I don't have any mining drills. We need to go over to our chest that we stuck down over here and we need to get a couple more mining drills. So I've got, I can put mining drills in on here, but I'm, I'm going to leave that patch, I think. Actually, no, I don't need to leave all of it. We can go and we can remove some of it, and that way we've got less that we need to worry about later when we want to come and clear up more stuff off of it. So let's go to there, and I want them. I don't want anything else at the moment. I'm going to head this way now, and we're going to go and find the other uh, mining drills that we've got being made. I think they're up this way, actually. Where do we put them? They're up there. Right, we want to go up here and we want to get more mining drills. I'm going to go for another 100 mining drills. So I've got just under 200 of them and they're going to go and make a few of them right there. And then I'm going to go up this way and I'm going to get more belts. I've got quite a few already. I'm going to get even more of them. That'll probably be enough there like that. Now, I've also got 11 small construction zone expanders, and I'm kind of hoping that I can use some of those as well. And we'll go up this way. I then need to upgrade that lot. I've got, well, that lot up there is actually the more important one to upgrade, but we'll do that in a bit. I'm going to do that yet. The first upgrade that I want to do is, oh, wait. Oh, no, I have got landfill. And the reason I want landfill is I want to be able to fill in a piece here so that I can put some belt going past it. Now, the only thing, sort of, the, the only downside at the moment is I still don't have uh, personal robots. I would like personal robots. Personal robots are absolutely wonderful. They make all the difference, as many of you know. Right? They, it makes such a difference to gameplay, doesn't it? Being able to have your personal robots running around and, and doing all of the personal robot things that personal robots do, it's wonderful. It makes such a big difference to overall gameplay. Right, that's actually got to go up there and then you there like that. And now we got to just like cover over the corners here and then there's a corner there. Um, but yeah, I can't do anything. I haven't got personal robots yet, so we're going to have to wait before we can get those. We will eventually get them. It's just that we haven't quite um it, it's gonna take a little while yet we've got to get the right suits of armor we've got to unlock the flying robots and there's a few other bits that we're gonna need to do besides just to make sure that we can get everything uh, that's gonna go up to there and then i'm gonna make that a bit smaller and i'm gonna do one there one there and one there like that right I think we'll leave it at that. I've only got one stack of landfill left. I may be glad of a little bit more landfill in a little while. Uh, but what I was thinking was I've got these. These construction zone expanders. And I was thinking actually what we might do is just do a quick bit of expansion around here. Set some of these down. To go. Ooh, I can put one up there. Right. Put one in here. Uh, that one can go 
there, like that. And then I can set another one over this way. You don't have to... Well, you, you do kind of need to join them in together a bit. So I'm going to have to put one here to connect these two together. Like that. There. And you... So I've, I've got to make sure that these are connected together. But what I want to do is I want to cover this whole area here. With these expanders. Like that. So that then I can get a... Um... What do you call it? An upgrade planner. I want to put an upgrade planner across all of this lot here. And... Oops. Can't reach. Upgrade all of the belts. I want yellow belts right the way across everything on here. I feel that would be for the best. It will help just improve the speed of everything that's working down here. At least this is what I'm hoping. You're going to have to go back over here. I've only got four of these left. Now I've only got three. And I haven't got a lot of space for them. I can put that one there. I've upgraded most of the stuff out on this side already. So it's not a huge thing. That one there. I think I've now got all of it within range of an upgrade planner. So if I go here, I can take that one. And actually, I, I want to get rid of that. Now, I did have an upgrade planner that I'd already made. So uh, what I'm going to need to do is I put that one down in there and then uh, right click there so I can upgrade like this. And we will set the belt in here. So I want to upgrade any of those to any of those. And then I want to upgrade those and those and upgrade to that one and upgrade to that one like that. That's the only upgrades that we're going to do. I'm not going to change anything else. I'm just going to put an X on there like that. So I've got the upgrade planner here. And then I can go out. So that belt there, I've already upgraded that one. And there's a few of these belts in here that are upgraded. I don't think it's going to make much difference to the performance of this bit in here. I don't think that's going to have any effect whatsoever. But what I do think is going to change is the production of the tin in here. Because this belt... There, if I bring that back over that way, and that can go up there like that. See, I'm not using all of this, so if I can use all of it, I can then... But I'm already not using all of it in here. I want to put more mining drills down on there to be able to properly upgrade this system. I'm not ready to do all of the upgrading yet. We don't want to do it just yet. I just want to set this going for now, like that. Over all of this area that we haven't already upgraded. And it could take me out over to there. Everything else is already upgraded apart from that corner up there. Right. I've now got all the upgrades in place. That's done. And then that one there, I can now get rid of this one. Destroy it like that. It's gone. Finished. And end of discussion. And here come all of the robots are carrying all of these. They're not... No, I... Didn't think they would. I didn't think they would be able to get all the way to the place where they wanted to go. So they, they've now had to turn around and go back again. Um, because I don't have the robots that I would like. The other thing that I can't do is use robots to build the double belt that I want to go all the way up to there. I'm going to have to do that on my own. And the slight problem I've got with having to do that on my own is that I've also got to have to go through all of the trees. Which is going to take a little while. But uh, we'll get to that. I got a thousand of these. I'm going to do one line of belt first. I'll take it to that corner and we'll deal with the rest in a minute. So I'm going to bring you over there like that. And then we're going to head over this side. And I'm going to go a fair way with this one. We'll go to about there. And now we can head north. And this is where I'm going to have to start cutting down trees to be able to pass through these woods. And this is, this is going to slow things down a bit. Also going to need to pick up any belts that we accidentally dump in the way. So let's get that one. And I want to go to there. Now we run over this way near the water. i got to remember, i got to come back down through this again and make more of these. 
And this is where we've really got lots of timber. Right, where are we going from this point? I've got to go over to there, so I've got to run through that bit there and then head north. That should be easy enough. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in a straight line along here. Cutting all timber as I go. Rather than trying to bring the robots up here and getting them to do it. It's going to take way too long to wait for them to turn up here and do all of this. I might end up needing to extend a line up for the robots to do some work up here anyway. Just because of um, like uncovering all of the patch of coal. I, it depends how much of that coal is actually covered over. Uh, that there I think is as far as I need to go. Maybe a bit further. Oops. Okay. I did not mean to do that. I'll pick all of those up. And it appears that I need to go out over to... About here. Right. I run my belt all the way back through here. And I'm still not able to do all of it. I got trees in the way over there. That one can go there like that. So I'll run back through cutting down more trees and we'll go all the way along this run cutting all the trees and then I'll go back through again and place down any belts that are missing. And then I'll probably come back through again and do another line of cutting just underneath so that I've definitely got enough room to put a second belt running down through here. Okay, we've done that bit. Now I can take my belt go that way. Run it all the way back down through here, like that there. And then I'm going to run this way, and I'm going to remove all of the trees on this side of the track. And we can clearly see then we've got a nice long straight all the way through here that we can um, follow without any trouble. Now, there has been a slight update to the game since I last did anything on here. And... They've always that that they've said a couple of times in a couple of the um, Factorio, the, the Friday, like the, the dev blog things that they do, that if they decide to change the mechanic for the aliens not being able to get across the land bridges at the moment, you know where we build the stepping stones and we leave one little bit of water. If they decide to change that, they probably won't put it in the patch notes they're going to be difficult about it they've specifically stated that they will be difficult about it in order to just add a little bit of challenge throw in a little bit of chaos apparently they are anarchists at heart um, now I'm, I'm not going to knock them for being anarchists I'm slightly anarchistic myself but it's going to be a bit of a nuisance if we have that happen to us it really is going to be a bit of a jolly nuisance if that does happen to us. Uh, I can bring this one over now like this. Go back up through. I've cut most of the timber that I want to cut now. We've got 844 pieces of timber now. That's a lot of wood that we're holding. I'm hoping that we will be able to clear everything that we need to clear as we go up through here. Because it's going to be the next thing. Is that Well, actually, no. Uh, I was going to say, it's going to be the next thing. Is we need to clear all of the patch of coal. But that's going to be easier said than... Uh, that's going to be a lot e easier said than done. That's going to be just as easy done as said. Because there's hardly any here. Right, we've got very, very little here. I'll just make sure I'm going to like clear around the edge a little bit. And remove any trees that are close to the edge. Just to make it a little bit easier for us. Uh, down this way. Yeah, along there. Down along the bottom down here. See, these bits down here, look. Yeah, that's what I want to get out of the way. Like that. Is there any more? There's one. There's a couple more. And, oh, one more. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Now we can go back over here. If you start your... For those of you who don't know, if you start your axe swinging while you're on a tree, I'm pressing and holding my right mouse button. I haven't let go of it. So I can go over the top of the coal, and it doesn't actually start swinging into the coal. It just 
stays and focuses only on trees, which is really, really handy because it means that then you can run over the coal like I'm doing right now, and I'm only going to cut down trees. I'm not going to stop and start trying to mine the coal by hand, which is a slow and tedious task, and we don't really want to do that because we don't need to. Uh, let me just do a bit there and take out a couple of those. Right, I don't think we need to worry about anymore. I want to get rid of a couple of these here just because they're in the way and they bug me. Um, they're not particularly in the way. It's just that I think it's going to look a bit tidier if we remove them, that's all. Right, now I can turn that one round and I can bring you back up here. I got a, it's saying that I got 601 items that need to be done with the robots. Uh, that's all of the belts down here that they're busy working on. They're going to take a little bit of time to do it, but we've got quite a few of these up here. So they've got plenty of charge points. It's just going to take a while for them to work. They've already done everything up in that corner. A couple down there that they still need to do. And then they're going to spread out over all the rest of it and slowly work their way through. So they'll probably be finished before we are. To be absolutely honest with you. And now I want to go up here. And I want to make sure that we get these up enough. I'm going to go up there. And what I'd actually like is for this to... Now, I've done this before. I had a blueprint that I used in uh, my last playthrough where I had these right up against each other and I put the power poles in here. So what I did was I had a belt there. I had an underground belt going in here like that and up here like that and then I had the power pole going in like that so I pushed the power pole down as far as it could reach which is there so it'd have to go back by one like that and then uh, each side of the power pole you do that and you do that and then fill in the bit in between like that so that's what I had, and I had a whole uh, blueprint set up to do that. So I think we could do the same again. So I need to take the power pole here. And that one's got to go to there. So it's every second mining drill that the power pole ends up going on to. So these mining drills here are in the wrong place. So I've got to take those up, which means that uh, they've just dismantled themselves. Which is fine. I've just about run out of space in here. I've got one single one one single copper cable there. That's fine. I'm gonna put you up there. I'm gonna turn you around and then I'm gonna run this line of these right up tight like that. I'm gonna bring you all the way out here. The reason that I do it like this is because what this does is it allows you to like you you this pushes the mining drills as close together as you can possibly get them. It does mean that you've got to use a whole load of underground belts in order to do it properly. But by pushing your uh, mining drills as close together as you can possibly get them, it means that you mine the patch of ore ever so slightly faster. It's not a huge improvement on it. It's not like a massive thing, but it does make a small difference. And in the grand scheme of things... Those small differences, especially if you're trying to do a whole load of mining really quickly, that can actually help you when you're trying to like expand your base. Like, you can get just a little tiny bit extra in the way of ore coming through. Speeding things up. So I'm doing this one. I'm doing it sideways rather than up and down just because that's the longer runs that we're going to get on it. And you go in. Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.